name is Brian McPherson. I'm a singer songwriter. It's a worldwide riot. Watch the tears With coming new record, down. Basically, everything was written on this one during the Occupy movement. I was involved in in Oakland, California, um, and uh, a lot of the songs are directly inspired by events that took place there. Leaving, coming and going, um, touring, traveling, love, saying goodbye to love. I think there's a little bit more of a revolutionary theme going on with it. I mean, like any record, any art or music, you just kind of hope it inspires people in some way. As an artist, you create this thing, you know, you can write a song that comes out of the blue and then to hold on to it, would, you, you, I can't, you know, I have to. The relief that I get from life, from expressing that, is amazing. And the relief I get from writing a song is incredible and I'm all, I've been chasing that rabbit for a long time. I always liked music um, when I was a kid. Stuff like, you know, that hard rock thing. I had my mullet back in the day when I was a little kid. Then I like got into punk rock and that just like phew, knocked me on my ass. I was like changed for, changed for life. Um, so the salt, the energy was just incredible. Um, and then I, I got into Bob Dylan. I found a Bob Dylan record that my mom had hanging around the house and I started listening to that. And that knocked me on my ass too. It was like the punkest fucking thing I ever heard. Just to do with the guitar and, and some fucking songs, you know? And uh, at that time, no one was. No, it was only in folk clubs that this stuff was going on. So I started to go to uh, Club Passim in Cambridge, which is like an old folk club that all those old folkies used to play at and stuff, and uh, still still do. Um, and that's where I started cutting my teeth, playing and performing. and now, now what? And some friends of mine uh, up in um, Colfax, California, up in the foothills, said, hey, uh, we have you know, a cabin up on our property in the back of our house. You can crash in there for a little while. And uh, I took him up on it, and um, it's the Chicken Foot Ranch Activist Center. I went up there and, and stayed in the hut, and just got to cracking on everything I'd written in the last couple of years. You know, I found a studio, recorded them there. It was very intense. Like, I've never had the opportunity to um, just work on my music every day for uh, a few months. So being able to isolate and get that privacy and op opportunity really helped. In the middle of somewhere But every day she had to get out Some of us come lost I'm looking to get with any label that's down with what I do and uh, will work as, as hard or as close to as hard as I do. I think everything I want to say about the record or about where I'm at right now is, is in the record. <laughs> 